only click below if you're interested in, you know, Chris, you an adulteress. That's right. Oh, so with Pastor Jennings, my pastor told me most time when a preacher justified more than one wife, just to show you he got it. Man can have more than one wife today. What well, used to get married? Now check this out. Now we all know uh, Dow has uh, quote unquote three wives. We know scripturally and legally you can only have one, which means he's also promoting people to break the law, which is uh, promoting polygamy. It's illegal in America. This is not a third world country. This is not the motherland where you can have wives as many as you can afford or not even afford as many as you want in certain cases. But this is what Dow promotes. Uh, you know. He doesn't put no monogamy at all. So he's basically telling men to cheat on their wives. That's that's basically what that teaching will lead to. Let's continue. And wake up and say, you know what? I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one. I'm getting another one by 5 o'clock. I'll be back. 5 o'clock. Lord. He be with her for a couple of days. I'm going to get another one. Not another that's one. why they go to these dirty, no good religions that allow you to have a bunch of wives. And you know what these liars do? They use the Bible. That's right. They go right to the Old Testament when it was allowed. That's exactly what the false prophet Dow does. And I pray for the people that are underneath him because if they don't understand by now that this man is wicked, then they deserve to go straight to hell with him. Let's continue. There's a man, so I think his name is uh, Dow or something. That's right. Telling about me in America. He said it's nothing wrong with having two wives, three wives, and four wives. He said that doctrine that Pastor Jennings is teaching that there's only one wife. He said that's a false doctrine. And he got over social media. He's supposed to be a pastor. And cussed me out. Yeah, he did. Cussing me out about multiple wives with a hat on. <laughs> with a golf cap on. He said, you mother so-and-so and so, and you got so-and-so. Oh, I tell you, they get mad when they come to give up that spam. Right. Oh, yes. Now, what Apostle's talking about, by the way, uh, this is a clip of him out of America. That's why he said a man was yelling about him in America. He's in, um, oh, I can't think. I can't, I can't remember exactly where he was here, but um, Dow had literally, I showed this. This is all on my channel. I showed this. Uh, Dow disrespected Apostle's uh, dead father. He disrespected Apostle's living mother. He disrespected Apostle's wife. This man is disgusting. And there's a guy named Rufus who is like one of his biggest supporters. This guy got kicked off the land that he helped build for about, I think he said 13 years. He kicked, he kicked Rufus off the land like a broke down home. Kicked him clean off like a rabid dog. And he gets on, Rufus gets on basically kissing uh, 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 dolls behind. And said, I still love you, brother. I still love you. Meanwhile, he need donations so he can uh, relocate <laughs> because this dude uh, was giving all this money and all this time and effort and labor to this uh, hell-bound land that they started. Uh, and, 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 and people are just like, wow, really? If he could do this to you, what would he do to us, right? Let's continue. That's right. Why they want all that meat to lay with? Meat they love. use the Old Testament, where Solomon had seven hundred wives and three hundred concubines, and uh, Abraham had an Egyptian handmaid named Hagar. They go through the Old Testament, uh -huh. but here one greater than Solomon came, and the Messiah was he. That's right. Who the Hebrews called Yahushua Hamashiach. He was greater than Solomon and greater than Moses. And, this and guess what Pastor Dow said? Ignore him. Ignore the Messiah? That, listen, this man said what Jesus said is not relevant. We follow what Moses said. See, you got to be, see, I've I seen crackheads do a lot of crazy things in my lifetime. I lived in the hood my whole life pretty much. Pretty much. I've seen crackheads do a whole bunch of things. When somebody say that they are uh, uh, holy or righteous and you follow a person who basically said we're tossing Jesus in the trash and we're going to follow the teachings of Moses and you stay there oh you deserve to go to hell let's continue this is what he said in the 10th chapter of the book of Mark you multiple white lovers that's why you folk love 
this this meat religion is called a butcher religion. Now right? what's this? Like a butcher shop. That's right. Ham, hops, fish, turkey, goat, everything. everything. Meat religion. The land is not divided. Look at this. Look at these women. Look at these women. So that's the reason why this land commands a price. So that's the reason why this land commands a price. So that's the reason why this land commands a price. All, that's what's taught at Dow's Church. Get online in minutes. Web.com's AI builder makes it easy. Simply tell us some info about Dow's Church. That's what's taught. Virgins. These are four virgins that he put up in front of the congregation. First of all, what in the heck is it his business who's a virgin in his church? And what gives him the nerve to even ask these young women, are you a virgin? Some of these women look like they're underage. He's starting to give me, uh, what's that that dude that just got arrested uh, for having a coat where he believed he was set apart like Dow believed? Dow's so stupid. He really thinks that if he lives on a different land, he's living set apart. This idiot doesn't realize that your lifestyle got to be set apart. Not that you move into the woods somewhere you... God forgive me. Ooh, I can't stand false prophets. If you look at my channel, all you see is me exposing false prophets. They hate me. That's why y'all haven't saw the videos that I've been doing. I think somebody in, in, in two headquarters don't like me either. They don't want y'all to watch this. They don't know. They want y'all to watch P. Diddy. All of these cats that are covering P. Diddy and all this mess, that's what they want you. They don't want you to watch somebody like me. I just got demonetized again for like the sixth time, right? I had to fight to get re-monetized again. They do not, they hide this channel. If you don't click, if you don't search my name, C-R-O-C-S-M-O-O-T-H, exactly, you will not be able to pull up my channel. You will not. But let's continue. This is a this is a virgin. This is like a virgin auction. Well, let's go back to when the sister with the uh, yellow head covering. She had her head up, and she felt like it was too high. She dropped it again. Watch this. The land is not defiled. Yeah. Look! 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 See how so she lowered her head. Why this land commands a price? So. Who are the men? Who are the fathers of these women? Who are the fathers of these women? To let them go. Let them go up there and, and go through this uh, 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 degradation, uh, humiliation ritual that this man is putting them through. You see? Let me tell you something. I got four sisters. I am not above swinging. Sometimes I'm not gonna lie to you. People bother women and children. I'm not above it. Please, if, if if I hear a, a predator in the room dealing with a child or a woman or something, please grab me because I'll go to jail for that. I I believe that one of the greatest uh, uh, missions or purposes of man is to protect the women and children. So when I see people violate or just like do these type of horrendous things to women, it disgusts me. I'm disgusted at now. Let's continue. So, so, so the sister in the yellow, with the yellow head cover, she put her head up and dropped it. Like she's on a, this looks like a slave drive. A slave plantation. Yep. Yes, this is giving me Nature Boy vibes. That's the guy's name. Right. Nature Boy. Exactly. This is sick. That's the reason why this land commands a price. So that's the reason why this land commands a price. All the women is hanging up there just like on a meat rack. See? Yeah. See? Look at him. Look at him. That's the meat market that Apostle was talking about. Let's read scripture. 1 Timothy 6 and 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted, uh, coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows this dude his love of money causes him to do this type of stuff you talking about now listen this is why i believe he's actually 
uh, the men over there actually trade or barter with the fathers of the virgins because this man does not uh, uh, agree with the new covenant, the new testament. He does not agree with it. In the old testament, they literally had to give money to the fathers for their daughters. So, because I'm about to show y'all where he, he gets the whole check of men in this cult, right? So they go and, and give this man a whole check, I guess in hopes to get a virgin? What is this? Let's continue. It's just that the Torah commands and demands a price and all value to be put on it. Okay, wait a second, wait a second. You don't go anywhere. I'm going to tell you something. That I'm going to talk for the next four minutes till I get back to the video. I have the question if I were to ask any Dow supporters or Dow people, do you have the spirit of Ruach? Do you have any inclination? Have you spent any time in prayer? Have you ever encountered Yeshua Amashiach? Yes, 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 oh, who you, what you want to call it? Yahashua or whoever you call it, but it's the Messiah that paid the price on the cross. Are, are you aware that this has nothing to do with, with what he's saying? Are you aware of that? Where is, your, where is your discernment? Where is the discernment that God placed in all of us? Where is the common sense thing? Where is the com? I mean, that's just common sense. You, you, you don't you don't do that. And is it is it me or have we seen this before? We've seen this with David Koresh. We've seen this with Jim Jones. We've seen we seen it over the black community. Doctor York, York Malachi. We seen it with one guy that was a part of a Hebrew cult down in Florida, called himself Yahweh. And he was, he was, what he was so called doing something good for the community, but was really doing something scandalous. And even to the point that it was some people in the cult was just taking lives. Their life was taken. This man took someone's wife away from him. And if he was a real man, if you, let's say you want to do the uh, uh, polygamy, whatever. Wouldn't you go out and find a woman outside, give the word, and see if she would agree to it? Why would you take another man's woman that's in among your brothers who are still in the land of the living and you manipulate? So, and you're supposed to be, and then not only that, you broke the commandments. Since these people want to go by the commandments in the Torah, well, thou, you broke it. You broke the one commandment, thou cut, thou, thou covered, covered, not, thou you should not cover your neighbors anything, and even was described of his house, his wife, his his property, anything. He violated that that one. Number two, he he, he violated. That's a, that's adultery. Number three, he he, he violated or he start he, he spread the divisiveness, being the head person himself cause devices there like Satan did up there in and in heaven and caused division and discourse. So he did that amongst people and he got in, in, in some woman who wasn't weak, they wasn't strong in their spirit enough to tell, say say no. And then he manipulated them. That is not of God. That that is not of the most high God even in the old and New Testament. And, and if the men, any man will hear this, you that's you done this, you will be held accountable for it. The Most High God's gonna hold you responsible for the men straight way. You stand with this, you, you anybody agree with that? You're and you doing your wife like this, you're gonna be held accountable for it, because that's not the way the Most High God tended for a woman to be. You're gonna be held accountable. You want to play alpha dog, alpha male. But you don't understand that that the, the, the sacredness of covenants in relationships with a woman is that two of you come as one 
up on under the man. So when spirit, when you connect it and have the the covenant, and that's very important, covenant with the Most High God, with you and your wife, no other people is not supposed to be in that covenant, and no one's supposed to break up that covenant and tell one of you to depart from the earth. You violate that with the apostle in Paul's writings. You violated all this scripture. How can this man be teaching someone the scriptures when he would violate the commandments and the statutes? That even the Apostle Paul in the New Testament did the same thing. And what was collapsed with the Old Testament. And then, and then you, you silly people, you must don't read the Bible. Did you know um, David... It was one of the most famous men in the Bible. Did some scandalous stuff like this. Even though he had the most high God's heart. But but he did something similar to something similar to this. He went he sent his men out there in the field and during the time of the battle. Purposely put Uriah out there so he could get killed because he had he had a thing for his for his woman. He sent him up to be, be, be slaughtered in the battle. What what out there? This is true. This is in, in, in your book that you study. This is in the Bible that you study. In Uriah killed. So after Uriah, Uriah gets killed, David takes Uriah's wife. Guess what? Oh, when when they lay down to have a child, guess what happened? You know what the story happened to the child. David was heartbroken because he knew that, that what he what his tensions was was not pleasing to the Most High God. If you silly men would understand this, what Tao is doing, you don't take another man's wife, especially somebody that's supposed to be your brothers that's in, brothers that share with you. And that's an unfortunate happening until you take on that, that man, then you take care of his wit, widow. That's commandment, commandment two. And less on that circumstances, but why that man still alive? You, I said, you, uh, you, um, you're responsible, and he is responsible as a leader. And any man that's teaching the way he's teaching, you're going straight to hell, and you will stand before the Yeshua Amashia, the Christ Himself, and the Most High God Himself, and He gonna open up scrolls, and so you can't throw the scroll, can't throw this in His face. Because he's gonna show you what you did was wrong. Then he's gonna show you the effects that what thou been men like thou have done is wrong. And you're going straight to the pit if you don't repent. This this is foolishness. And these men they, they weak. They, they they immature. bunch of grown men asking asking masculinity. You 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 mature by by the most high most high God don't find you a, a man. If you allow a man to do something like that to you, he don't even look at it's like a Jezebel spirit that Pastor Dow has. He has a, a Jezebel spirit. And those men are like Ahabs. Yes. And you see what how Jezebel oh, you know, oh because my 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 God kind of give me my land. Then she has to man up and, and, and put out a threat on on the man of God. Saying, you don't give up the land. It's, it's going to require your life. This is all scripture. But in, in, in but in the scriptures, the Most High God, you you, you men who spoke with straight way, like, like, like Ahab, you don't get no respect. You're going to let a man like that and, and he decide, li listen, listen here. When, when it comes to your household and your covenant with your children and your wife, God is is, is hold you responsible, and you because you the protector and you supposed to be tuning to Him, not put Him at, at as a, a, a God figure. It was supposed to go to Him. Where's where's your spirit of discernment? Don't you have a prayer life? This is what I get. This is what I was saying. Question the men. You are supposed to cover your wife spiritually, not just protect them on physically, but spiritually, and seek wisdom from the Most High God. So, and, and even though you're trying to front like you on, see all these men uh, that, that's making a, 
trying to make sure like they're out there doing manly work. He, 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 he's pimping y'all. He's taking. That's not manhood. That's not manhood at all, bro. That's not manhood. With a real a real man don't take recovering another man's stuff. That's what real men do and try to justify and call driven division because it's going to open up a door and it's going to cause judgment on him and his household. And all the people who agree with it is going to cause judgment on you. you. You're watching some form of judgment because like he was saying, the one man was heartbroken. You broke a sacred cover, pal. You broke a sacred cup and caused that man a heartbreak. And y'all and have to agree with it. You is going to be responsible for this. And any anybody who follow it straight away, you, you follow it, it it's, it's on you. Then you don't have no discernment with, with the Most High God. Because anybody, you know, that's division. Anybody in a right mind would know that's not right. You don't go to put women up there on an auction like that. You don't do that. That's like that's what they did back in slavery. He, he reenacted what they used to do in the United States three or four hundred years ago. Put women up on the block and and and, do, and, and be little like that. He he a black man doing this, doing something like this. What they did, what an ancient white man did back in four fifteen sixteen hundreds in America. You don't do like this and, and have men and your men over there and ruin. So yeah. What kind of men are you? Because in the eyesight of God, you're weak. You're little boys. In the eyesight of the Most High God, you're not, you're not men of honor. And anybody will follow, pass it down, you're not a man of honor. You're a woman, you're not a woman of honor. And, and agree with that. You, and and like, the, like the, excuse, I'm sorry about the one interruption. But this, I, I want to make this because on the next video I'm going to show you. I kind of dropped it at the end. But I want to show you th this. You're going to be held responsible. If you're going to teach the commandments, a, a, a leader is going to be held a responsible just as one he leads his flock. And, he, and Ringo, TV was, Ringo TV was right. If, you, if you're going to say you're a boss man and you're going to be a leader and all that, you, you got to take accountability for what you do. Don't just deflect and just put like I it ain't my it ain't my doing it, it's it's see and then you try to put then put, put don't don't throw G, um Jesus or anybody in the situation don't blame angels or anybody it's your fault Pastor Dow you you needed to be held accountability but your arrogance have, have led it that way it's your arrogance and you this ain't the first people it wasn't just Geno James you did this to you did this to other people's ministries too. And you started the war with the fight with these people. You started with Pastor Kelly. You started with Rebirth. You started with some other people too. With other said and start calling them out their name, call insulting their wives and stuff like that. You did this stuff, and that's why they didn't, they didn't want to talk to you and have a discussion with you because you act like an overgrown tantrum tantrum child. Like you know, you don't know how to di 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 differentiate. So it's so that you lack in maturity as far as being a leader for the Most High God. Just because you can t t say some extravagant, a persistent word, that don't mean you, you try to make something that don't fit. It takes the Spirit of God to open people's eyes up. I have come across men like you. You think that you're a man by, by put belittling other men and put, put men up under you. And then that you're supposed to be accolade. And there were men like you like that in the Bible. But they always come fall down and they fall short. Because it takes the most high God to reduce reduce them. What was the, the one leader over uh, in the scriptures since we talk of scriptures? What about that one king over Babylon? He thought he was he thought he was alright. He, he was a man when he put fear in, in everybody. But, but when the Most High God reduced him down, t took his mind away and, t and made him down to an animal, that showed how much of the so-called so -called man God that he thought he was. It, 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 he's violated his own scriptures. 
her own statutes commandments if you, if you, if you say you're an Israelite. He's violating them. If you're going to live by it, then you got to find it. You can't sit up there and, and, and say that uh, I'm, not, that's, I'm not responsible for that, but I can teach them. If you're going to try to keep all the laws, then keep all the laws. But you can't sit down there and say, except for this. No, 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 no. You don't get the gospel of grace since you're trying to live up all, up on the, all the laws of that time and try to infiltrate it into these. These, these individuals that's been selected as leaders. And it's sad that individuals can't can't seek the most high God themselves. Everybody just because someone pick up the Bible and someone even and even your any man can tell you this from good man, righteous man, even the devil knows the scriptures. Satan knows the scriptures. And he can and he can put on a con and through a, the actual charming what you think he was an angel of life for? You think that that's what he's just going to go after the ump? No, he, he targets the targets, he raised up men with the mindset like thou. And, 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 and grab innocent people and lead them away to the point that he just they, they psychologically destroyed them. And if someone don't pray for some of these people, like there's a delusion that's straightway, they're going to they gonna fall with him. This is ridiculous, man. But I just want to take some time. I didn't mean to go into, but but it, you need to really sit down and think. If you're gonna call yourself a leader, take responsibility as a leader. I think that's gonna blow your mind. Uh, oh, sorry, you're gonna be calling it. Getting ready by value, you getting ready by somebody. So you getting ready by value, you getting ready by somebody. That's crazy. So you getting ready by value, you getting ready by somebody. That's a slave trade. That looks like a slave trade. Put a one in the comments if y'all can hear me. I don't see any comments there. Y'all must be speechless. Put a one in the comments if y'all can hear me. Does that not look like a slave option? Let me know what y'all think. Yeah. Does yeah. that not look like a slave option? Right. He's lucky to the Lord that none of those women up there are one of my sisters. He's lucky. I mean, I don't even believe in luck. God forgive me. He is black. Now, he ain't even blessed. I don't know what to call this man. He has the... Man, I don't know. But if that was one of my sisters up there, Lord have mercy. I don't know what I would... I know exactly. I will bum rush this guy. If I walked in that service and saw my sisters up there, and he's talking about putting a price on them for their virginity. See, this is God forgive me. See, these type of subjects, I usually try to duck out of them because, ooh, ooh, sometimes Satan, sometimes Satan say things that I agree with in situations like this. Ooh, my Lord. Somebody in the comments, exactly. This looks like human trafficking. Right. This looks like human trafficking. This is this should be arrestable. And he, this look at this clown over there standing like he's a security guard by the door. Look at this clown. Ain't nobody gonna come in here and stop this. This is a commercial for virgins. Ain't nobody gonna interrupt this service. Wow. Lord, this this is breaking up my dog side, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me. That comes already, already, oh. right out the package. Right out the package. But they go to the church where that meat market is full. Go right to the bishop, the head butcher. Huh? Go right to him. Uh, can I help you, sir? Yeah, 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 bishop. Yeah, bishop. I, I, I'm looking for uh, tenderloin. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> uh, tenderloin. Not the tenderloins. That's what the woman go to the butcher for. They say, they say, now, I need a husband. With tenderloins. Not the tenderloin ministries. Lord, have mercy. This man is so far in hell, it's scary. This is tenderloin ministries. Gluteus Maximus ministry. Booty. Booty ministry. Let's just be real. Booty Ministries. Four virgins. He only got four in it. That means they done, they done you fly with the rest. 
All the rest of the women devoured and just ran through. Lord, this is sick. Hold up one second. Hold up one second. Let's bring this back. Tenderloins. Capostle is out of control. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, 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 Bishop. Yeah, Bishop. I, I, I'm looking for uh, tenderloins. Dark me. Yeah, <laughs> uh, tenderloins. Uh, size nine shoe, uh, muscular thighs, uh, maybe 47, 48 in the hip. Uh, uh, breast is just reasonable size. Uh, uh, certain cushions on the face. And she got to have fat back. Oh, yeah, she got to have fat back. And hey, man. You know they asked for the fat back. Lord have mercy. What is wrong with these people? What? Did he really think that he was going to put this on the internet and I wasn't going to come and do the meanest drive-by that I ever did for holiness? Y'all know I was coming. If y'all knew I was coming to do this video, put a two in the comments. If you saw what was going on, he was like, ooh, <laughs> when C-Rock hear this, put a two in the comments if y'all knew I was coming. I just had to get some rest. This was so crazy. I said, Lord, I got to get some rest for this. I got to make sure that my mind is sharp for this. They was on the internet like, see where going to make a video about this. I was reading the comments. I was reading the comments. Yeah. Let's continue. He go back to the freezer, move the meat around. <laughs> Can't find it in the freezer. I'll be right back. He go to the big dark room where all the women just hanging. Look. Look at how they just hanging there. Look, y'all. When we teach in holiness, we teach that's the truth. That's hanging like a coat rack. You know you go inside of a men's men store, inside 42, 43 suit, just go pull all the suits down. Until they get the one that's rolling right there. I'm here, Bishop, I can get right there. Let's wrap it up in brown paper. Good. Take it home, you bunch of heat. Right. They will shoot you and kill you for that second wife. Look at him. Right out the package. Look, what did he just say, y'all? The spirit revealed all things. Apostle never saw this footage. I never saw this footage. But what we said about this man is falling right in line with what he's doing. Apostle said he's a meat man. Hey, man, he's a meat man. And he said, right out the package, Apostle said, after they get weighed and you pick the hips and all the presses and all this mess that you want, they put you in a bag, well, they weigh you on the scale first, and they put you in a bag and sell you to the person that collected that meat. That is scary. How is this legal in America? If this was white women, if this was uh, Jewish women, this man will be in jail right now, but because it's a, it's, it's, these are so-called black women, non-whites, nothing's wrong with it. Nothing. Oh, you can go on YouTube all day and have a virgin auction. What? Right out the package. Why go? Go look at it. <laughs> then he put it on a scale. <laughs> that tail starts that tail starts killing. All right, wrap it up. <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up. You got a little cheap butcher religion. Amen. <laughs> Your preacher is a butcher. Amen. He's a meat man. Amen. Meat man. Run out the package. Look at him. Ready for marriage. That's the devil. That's the devil with a bad haircut, y'all. That's the Absolutely. devil with a bad hair, because the devil usually present himself better than that. This man looking like he's one of the bushwhackers or something, or he's one of the Legion of Doom wrestlers. I don't know what, who, what barber he went to, but they didn't love him. That barber didn't love him. <laughs> that man looked like he's uh, psychotic. I'm telling y'all, that man looked like a, a, a roided out a Indiana Jones with his hat on. He looked like he went through some things. I'm telling y'all, these women, look at how they submit to him. Look at how they submit to this man. So this is uh, some other guy did this exposed video, right? He called it the auction block. I said, there it is. That's exactly what it is. An auction block. Okay? Well, they're not going to put up cash. They're going to barter. 
in the background for these four versions in his in his hellbound ministry. You see this? You see this? Look at that. They can't even put their head up. That's pimping. I know pimps personally. I still kick the truth to them and they don't like it, but I don't care. That's how a hoe, that's how a hoe hangs her head, a prostitute. When she come around other men, she can't even look them in the eyes. He's treating these women like hoes and it's a shame. It should be arrestable. It should be arrestable. I'm telling y'all, watch this. Lord have mercy. Ain't that beautiful? Somebody tell me what's wrong with that. Lord have mercy. See, we should have teachers like this. It should be going all across the land in every assembly. The self-destruction of Pastor Dowell and Straightway Ministries is underway. See that? Narcissism. Somebody called me a narcissist in the past. I said, Lord have mercy. I read the definition. I can see why they said it, though. Back then when I was of the devil, I guess. I guess, yes. All right, I was, I was. When you're an entertainer, brothers, that's why the Lord don't want us in the world entertaining folk and all that mess, because they do make you a narcissist. Yeah. Amazon's delivery service partner program empowers leaders like you to launch and operate your own delivery. And, uh, um, yeah, and, and this came to my mind, you know, it's sad that you see a black man do this to some black women. Put them on an auction block. Think about that for a second. And he's, he's a southern black man. You know, how, you know, that came from his ancestors. And I know that it was his ancestors that went through something like that. How can you do, how can you do something like that, Pastor Dow? What kind of human being are you to do that? That's not honorable in the eyes of the Most High God. Most High God, that's not, he want his daughters in, in that position. And the men that sit there and agree with that, you, you a sad case yourself. And one day you're going to stand before the Most High God. It ain't going to be funny when everybody's rooting. It's not going to be funny when the Most High God get a hold of you. And he gonna, he gonna, and you don't repent for what you what this, this stuff done and, and you know, you know, call for repentance. You will be judged. And since you want to throw out the judgment on other people, your, your very words is going to be the very words and like other people going to be judged. Because everything is accountable. For once what we say out of our mouth, heaven takes note. There's an angel somewhere taking note of all the things that you've done. And it's not it's not, it's not pleasant in the, in the eyes of the Most High God. And I pray that those women will wake up and see it. Will, will wake, wake them up consciously and get away. Go to a man that, find a man that will love you. And not sit, stand by there and watch, watch you get big little like this. This is not entertainment. These are human beings. Business with Amazon. But there was something in the narcissist uh, definition that said the person could be fired. I said, wait a minute. I don't put my hands on nobody. And a woman, I ain't going to say I ain't do it to a man. I already admitted to that. Uh, but women, I ain't slapped up no woman behind my narcissism. That's crazy. So this man, they say he's a narcissist. I believe he's a slapper. I do. And, and the, from the bottom of my heart, I believe it. I think he's a slapper. I don't know who he slapped, but somebody got slapped over there. I bet you. In his yeah. center part. I would judge. Right the hell go. And you know why it's underway? Because of pride. Do all to the glory. Come on. Glory about the glory. This man, oh, love y'all. This man read the scripture. Said, whether, therefore, ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all things to the glory of God. Look at this. He's drinking scotch or strong liquor to the glory of God. This man deserves to be shut down immediately. I'm calling him for the arrest. He needs to be arrested. Not only is he peddling virgins in his church, but he's also using the scriptures to say that he can drink scotch or brandy or whatever that is. He says blue label. That might be Johnny Walker. I don't know. But 
but he said he drank to the glory of the Lord. Even though the scripture says not to drink any strong drinks. Especially, this is his Bible study. I'm Violation talking, this number man four. Is his Bible study. Four commandments. <laughs> oh, Lord. Y'all just keep watching because it's going to get worse for him. I'm telling you. Um, I've been shown this, and I can say it on record. I was shown this when I warned him in the beginning. But watch this. Hold up, let's go back. I need y'all to see that. That's ridiculous. Right. Right. Yeah. Dow will be straight. In every the self-destruction of Pastor Dowell and Strictly Ministries is underway. And you know why it's underway? Because of pride. No. I was the first person to expose that he drinks at Bible study. So this is his way of giving me the finger, basically. But it backfired. It really backfired. Do all to the glory. Come on. Glory to the glory. All right, brother, the sisters, Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18. Pride goes, go, goeth uh, before destruction and in haughty spirit before a fall. This is the, this is scriptural. Now we're talking about scriptural prophecy. The scriptures say because of his pride, he's got to fall. And no word of God is a lie. Just keep watching. Keep watching them. Just keep watching them, brothers and sisters. The self-destruction of Pastor Dowell and Straightway Ministries is underway. And you know why it's underway? Because of pride. Do all to the glory. Come on. Glory to the glory. That's the devil. To the glory. And by the way, this thing, you false brother, call nothing the time. We got your little communicate, you false brother, you false. I can't call you nothing else, but you just a soft and feminine false man. But look at this. I'm to the glory of God. Drink this blue lake. Oh, oh. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> now time to talk about Ringo the Flamingo. Lord have mercy. Ringo the Flamingo. He comes out now. Look like he's outraged. And this man was the one that sent everybody to go join Straightway's cult, and he don't even go there. Hello? Hello? This man told everybody to go join the Straightway cult, and he doesn't even go there. Why would you send somebody to a place that you've never even been to, and blindly lead them to destruction? Hello? Is anybody there? Do y'all know who this man is? I watched this guy. I think it's corny. Great setup. Great quality. I think the guy's corny. And he's got long hair like a woman. He got the good long hair like a woman. The scriptures say that it's a glory unto a woman to have long hair. But he claimed, Ringo claimed to be a man of God. Self-proclaimed preacher. Self-anointed preacher. That's between I him and preach. them. So I don't need like, that long. That's between. I preach because I want to preach. This is another heathen. Now he want to tell the people, I don't know if I should tell them to keep, keep, keep giving Dow money. You don't know. You scumbag, you don't know if you should stop telling people to go to straight way to hell. And then this is another thing. I noticed it. I said, what? He, he's a Hebrew Israelite. All of these are Hebrew Israelites, by the way. Dow, the whole cult, this guy, Ringo. Uh, they, these are all cults. Okay? These, these Hebrew Israelites, these are all cults. This guy was promoting and empowering Dow. Now that they see Dow is having uh, what looks like to be flesh auctions, okay? Now he want to step back and say, oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know if I should have told y'all to go over there. I don't know. But how many people have already been on the flesh auction? How many people have already been deceived? How many people might have died over there in that coat and was lost because of Ringo? Hello? And now they want to talk about straight way to hell. I'm the first person to call that cult straight way to hell. Now that the Hebrew Israelites is calling it straight way to hell. This guy, Ringo, Domingo, Pozingo, whatever his name is, he's calling it straight way now. I'm like, okay, so they're taking verbiage from holiness now. I thought they, well, I know they watch this, but I didn't think they liked us enough to speak like us, right? Why would you want to emulate somebody you, 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 you vehemently disagree with? I would never talk like none of these ungodly chumps, 
thugs, smugglers, whatever they are, surrounding our church. They surrounded our church with nothing but a bunch of nonviolent men, women, and children in it. And they thought they was tough, the purple gang. More Hebrew Israelites. They ain't surround one white church yet. They ain't surround no synagogue. They ain't surround, I'm not saying they should, but I'm just saying, just look at their history. They terrify the white folks. When they talk a good one on camera though, be all in Manhattan, New York, yelling at white folks passing by, but they want to surround the, the, the headquarters in Philadelphia and be talking about why y'all didn't want to debate. Who the heck would want to debate with some people that's, we watching a live stream, y'all. These dummies don't even know. We was watching a live stream while they was cussing out in, uh, on church grounds. Uh, they was uh, talking about apostles or drug dealing. That's the only way he could uh, afford to have first church headquarters and all this mess. Why y'all don't want to debate? Why don't y'all just go to hell? That's what I want. Why don't y'all just go to hell? Do the world a favor. That's why hell was created, because it got to have people like them in it. And I, I ain't, I'm not recanting nothing. These type of men deserve to go to hell. But what makes you, what makes you think you're tough surrounding nonviolent people in a soldier-like manner? Would they go to a, a synagogue like that? Nope. Nope. Because they cowards. They surround all the so-called lost tribes, all the so-called black people that is on that chart that they so worship. That's the that's where they go surround those people, what they call God's people. Bunch of swoo, Lord, Lord, Lord. So thank you, Holy Spirit, because the Spirit will snatch words clean out of your mouth. Lord have mercy. Let's go to the tapes, man. Stinking Let's go to the tapes. So the people in the building, I want you to listen to this gift very carefully. This is crazy. All right, let's see what we got. Bro, Vic, you in here? Bro, Victor, you work, right? I'm playing. Give him, give him I want to show y'all. Watch this. This is what pimps do. So he's asking a man about how he takes his check. He wants the man to tell everybody publicly so they don't feel like they've been treated wrong when he takes their check. Watch this. The, what, the way straightway really works. The way straightway really works. The way straightway really works. Rather than being told the way that it works. Bro, Victor. Yes, sir. How long have you been working off the land when you went back on the job? How long have you been working off the land? Uh, the job I'm at now, I've been working there since 2019, 2020. Before that, I stopped working a year because you told me to stop working. Hallelujah. I was working a job Hallelujah. for a year. So, I only got made about five years with a year break in between. Okay. All right. So, you just gave me an offering yesterday or a couple of days ago. Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. Your whole paycheck? Yes, sir. Is that right? Did you get any back? No, sir. No, he didn't. He didn't get nothing back, y'all. He didn't get a dime back. It's not a gun. Lord have mercy. Is that pimping? If y'all think that's pimping, put a six in the chat. It is. Is that pimping? Dow yes. got brothers. He ain't even my brother. He just a man, a fool. He got men giving him his whole check. Not his wife to take to do his, uh, you know, help pay the bills and all that stuff, not his wife. And I wouldn't even say give all your money to your wife. But if she's helping you pay the bills, if she's the one making the phone calls, going online or whatever, setting up auto pay and all that, cool, no problem. Wait, 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 stop. Don't skip this video because I've got great news for you and your hair. If you are tired of losing... I'm going to stop it right here. I'm, I'm about top the next five six minutes but you, you see what kind of person that was not of God every man should take care of his own household not let one man be on some property and and have and turn all your money and give all your money give your whole paycheck that's not a God God didn't intend for men to do that especially when they have families and then live off of a hundred something dollars Knowing that he got to feed his household. That's not of God. That's just arrogance and greed. It's just straight out arro arrogance. And I'm just surprised that these men didn't take time to go in pray their prayer closet and seek God for themselves. And see, was that approved? 
And same with with the women. See, you know, because God will see how He will meet you where where you're trying to fulfill His word, but He's going to give you the correct way of showing you. That that man was never called of the Most High God. He he was led by another man that wasn't called of the Most High God. He took it and he got arrogant with it. And just like the Warren Jeffries of the world and the other individuals. And they, they use they manipulate people for their own good for their own gain. And I mean that's between him and Ringo, because yeah, Ringo said that he agrees with polygyny. You know, and but at the time he did, Ringo did, and Ringo admit that he was wrong for endorsing him. But um, it, overall, I got I, my thing is what's with the men? Don't you have any type of prayer life? Because once you open up that the communication with God, and you receive His Spirit, His Spirit would would told you. What was of him and what was not of him, because because God is is one who can never lie, and He fulfill His word. You you couldn't go and just get get the word from yourself. You had to go to a man like we do it in, in mainstream religion, and go seek. And as a man of your household, when you made the covenant with Christ in marriage to produce your family. That was your responsibility, not Pastor Dow's. So that falls back on, as you as the man, you're supposed to be leading that wife by the Spirit of God, not Pastor Dow, but the Most High God. And for anybody who, who, who um, you're supposed to check with the first, that's why you fast for a couple days and you ask the Father, do you prove prove of this? Because I want to make my I want to have a right covenant with you and my family. Family. Did anybody from straight, straight away? Does it sound like they didn't do this? Uh, it falls back on them. It falls back on individuals. You let an individual and you, and you don't, you still see all this coming. God don't have men to control a man to control like that and manipulate a man. That's something. That's that's something Satan Satan would do. We'll sell you so and then I'll pimp you out. Work for me and I'll give you. Isn't is again? This is something similar to something that a black man that will, we would choose a white man back in 1600 would do that to black people. Think about that. Here's a black man who's leading the congregation of men, of men of all walks of life, and he take on the spirit of the slave master in America. That spirit master. That's how the slave masters, from all the way from 1890 to 19, was 60, when they still own slave in this country. He doing the same doggone thing. He's doing it to all men, because there's different races of men that got them doing like that. And then, if one thing you could learn from a believer who came out of a Christian church, they told you about spirits. There's different spirits. A narcissist spirit, a controlling spirit, a religious spirit that's kind of controlling, that wants to con and dominate control, manipulation. The Father would show you through His Spirit what kind of spirit is in operation. And whether you're an Israelite or consider yourself a Christian or anybody that goes along to believe that Yeshua HaMashiach better known as Jesus to some Christians, he would, he would have showed you this. But, you know, hey, you know, I made my mistake that there's someone talk real strong and sound real confidently and didn't and sit back and didn't let the Spirit show me where this person coming short from. Yeah, they sound all cocky and bad and rough and, and ooh, don't mess with that dude. But when you really hear them spiritually, you you find how short short and weak they come from. They come short. This man probably was never called. He called himself to be like that. 
And he was any kind of man, he would sit down and repent. And before the Father, because he violated so many commandments in the scriptures, it ain't funny. How can he sit up there and then he manipulate and put it on the people and put it on the on on, on and saying, "Well, y'all start. I'm being persecuted. You're not Christ. You will never be Christ. You will not, you will can't can, can measure to his sandal and what you've done because Christ would not have a man do something like that to with another man's family. Don't put Christ in this. Don't put the kingdom of God in your mess. You did this out of flesh." And then you use the scriptures like many men have done this before. And you used it and you let Satan get in there and, 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 and show you something wrong. You, and then you was led by a, 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 a vile spirit that was not of God. And if the people of straightway and individuals were stood in prayer, they, the Most High God through His Spirit would show where this is coming from. That show, shows me that and, and right, they were saying that's a cult. All you have to do is is, is there are certain spirits? What kind of spirit and operation in people? We can get so caught up in things, but that's the part of it. Because Satan will come as an angel of light. He comes like he telling them, look at the David Koresh's of the world, Jim Jones. And different individuals, Warren Jeffries, and different other individuals who've done this. Malachi York. Uh, we go on and on, 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 all these people that did the same thing. And, let, and it was a man over King that did the same thing. That a Christian that do all this thing and, and, and get all these people manipulate the scriptures without the individuals doing discernment. And they lost their lives. Messing around, it, 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 he's could be that dangerous. And is this is someone lose their life on the property? Wow! Come on, people! If anybody's listening to this ministry, wake up! G go get this discernment for yourself from the Most High God. Stop being persuaded. Ch ch fact check somebody. Discern by the Spirit. This, this person telling the truth. Even if it was someone, even myself. But at least I'm telling you to do the go to. That's who you got the comforter for. That's who Yeshua, Amashia, better known as Christ, who went on the cross and said, and before he went on the cross, he told his disciple, When I go to the Father, I will send you one, and he will show you all my ways. Apparently, some people ain't getting the message. That's why the Comforter will lead you in prayer. And he will lead you to all truth. Everything. And as all individuals, we must seek God for ourselves and see who's right, who's wrong. Because you see in these last days, people being led, led astray. People being wounded and hurt. And he will be held accountable for it. See all this raw man, man, raw, 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 raw angle, mean hill of beans, when you stand in the glory court of, of the Lord. All that stuff, that all that rule, rule, hara, it ain't, uh uh. Wait till you stand before the Most High One in, it, in His kingdom and talk all that raw, raw then. See how much a man you stand when you stand before the one who, who made the family. So it's something to think about. I might not get like on this video, but I should hopefully, you know, but you honored a woman. A woman is supposed to be honored and loved and cherished, not put as a slave. And he's disgraced as a human being. All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, that, that's my time with me. Shout out to C Rob. And, he, and sorry, that I made on the second video, I kind of dropped the film so they could cut off, but it won't be long with this one. All right, then, you be blessed. And, and again, get in the face of the Most High God when it comes to the Scripture. Be led by the Scripture. Even someone is anointed and, and sound like they know what you talk about. Seek God's face for yourself. Okay? Be blessed till next time. Take care.